Yes, Dhavnesh. Aluminium industry. Aluminium industry. This is, uh, this is also one of the fastest growing industries of our metallurgical industries. Metallurgical industries of India. It is placed as the second important metallurgical industry of India afterwards the iron and steel industries. Aluminium is a universally accepted metal for a large number of industries because of its flexibility and the malleable nature. Flexibility and malleability. Aluminium is a good conductor of heat and electricity for which as it has used in electrical wires, high tension wires for which as a aluminium used. Third, it is as a light and inexpensive, lesser expensive comparatively to iron. Iron their availability is a lesser, but as compared to this a bauxite, India is a one of the leading producers of a bauxites in a world economies. Bauxite which has extracted to the residual mass after the weathering processes, Weathering processes, rocks are breaking down through which as aluminium can easily extract it to the plains of India. Bauxite can easily extract it to the plains of India because of which these reasons, the aluminium industry is considered as the fastest growing industry of India. It is one of the fastest growing industries of India. Aluminium has gained a popularity as a substitute to steel, copper, lead, zinc in a number of industries. There are total number of eight aluminium plants located in a eight aluminium plants located in a Odisha. These plants are directly managed by the public sector firms, which we discuss as a Balco and a Nalco. Eight aluminium plants in Odisha directly as managed by the Balco Nalco, Bharat Aluminium Company Limited. Balco stands for the Bharat Aluminium Company Limited. Nalco as a National Aluminium Company Limited. So except in the Odisha, aluminium plants are located in a Maharashtra, Chhattisgarh, Maharashtra, Chhattisgarh, Uttar Pradesh, Keral, West Bengal, and Tamil Nadu. West Bengal and Tamil Nadu. These plants together produce the more than 600 million tons of aluminium every year. 600 tons of aluminium every year. The ore of aluminium is a bauxite. To the bauxite, we extract as a alumina. Alumina extracted to the bauxite. It is also a weight losing industry. Aluminium is a weight losing industry. The raw material means the bauxite is refined to obtain the alumina or the aluminium. Around four to six tons of bauxite is required to produce one ton of aluminium. One ton of aluminium. Regular and uninterrupted supply of power is must for aluminium production. There are two factors which are responsible for the location of aluminium industries. Factors responsible for the location of aluminium industries as a supply of a raw material at a low cost. Supply of raw material at low cost. So for this as preferably, preferably aluminium smelting, the aluminium industries are located in a Aluminium smelting industries are located in a Aluminium smelting industries are located nearer to the <coughs> sorry source of the raw material nearer to the source of raw material aluminium smelting industries are located through this as a these industries 
they are getting as a raw material at a low cost low cost of uh, aluminium easily available from the areas of uh, aluminium production aluminium production clear second reason responsible as the assured and regular supply of electricity assured and regular supply of electricity so presently as aluminium industry as a fastest growing because it is as the product is used as a substitute of iron and steel iron it this uh, aluminium is used as a substitute of iron and steel industries presently aluminium as used as a diversified form in our day to day life for example in aeronautics in electrical appliances in domestic utensils domestic household needs like doors windows for kitchen utensils aluminium used as a widely aluminium used as a widely in a diversified forms clear next are the chemical industries chemical industries occupies the an important place in indian economy which contributes the 3% in gdp of india chemical industries contributes the 3% in gdp of india it is the third largest in asia and the 12th largest in the world chemical industries contributes 3% in gdp of india which is the chemical industry is the indian chemical industry is the third largest in asia and 12th largest in all over the world all over the world chemical industry of india is the fastest growing and diversifying industries it is under the large scale and a small scale as well as under public and private sector firms public and private sector firms rapid growth has been recorded in both inorganic and organic chemical industries heavy organic heavy inorganic chemicals include sulfuric acid nitric acid caustic soda alkalis and soda ash are widely used in a form of a inorganic chemicals sulfuric acid is used in the manufacturing of fertilizers synthetic fibers adhesives plastics dye stuffs and paints soda ashes are used for making glass paper detergents soaps etc soda ashes are used for making of a soda ashes are used for making of a paper glass soaps and detergents caustic soda is used for a detergents and soaps detergents and soaps clear the products which are used which are obtained from the inorganic chemicals are widely used in our day to day life so the inorganic chemical industries are located all over the country not only in a one part they are present in a diversified forms in a different parts of the country as compared to the inorganic chemicals there are the organic chemicals are also used organic chemicals which includes as a petrochemicals petrochemicals used for a manufacturing of synthetic fiber synthetic rubber pharmaceuticals dye stuffs drugs plastics etc organic chemical plants are located near the oil refineries or petrochemical plants petrochemical industries are also known as a dash industries what we call to them petrochemical industries are also known as dash roll number 33 raise your hand roll number 33 tenth roll number 33 rabgun yes what we call to them petrochemical industries
Yes, Prabhgun. These are known as a nodal industries. Nodal industries. Nodal industries. Petrochemical industries are known as the nodal industries. Their products are used to increase the production in other sectors of economy. Other sectors of economy are helped using the pesticides and enhance the production of pharmaceuticals, which contribute significantly to our exports. Most number of pharmaceutical industries are located in a pharmaceutical industries are located in a mountainous parts of a Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand. Clear? Uttarakhand. Next are the fertilizer industries. Fertilizer industries. India's first fertilizer industry, it was as set up at the Rani Pit in Tamil Nadu. R A N I P E T in Tamil Nadu. In Tamil Nadu. In 1906, the real beginning, the growth of fertilizers industries. It took place with the establishment of a Sindri plant. S I N D R I. Sindri plant by the F C I. Food Corporation of India. I think this you didn't learn in the last year because this chapter. The Food Corporation of India set up as the first, first fertilizer plant at a Sindri. S I N D R I. Sindri in 1951. The demand for the fertilizer actually started increasing after the introduction of a green revolution in 1960s. Due to the introduction of a modern methodologies of a farming in a field of a modern methodologies in a field of a farming improves the, it increased the agricultural production. So when the green revolution introduced, it created as an awareness among the farmers for the use of fertilizers. As a result, fertilizer industry spread through the length and breadth of a country, except extreme north and the northeastern states, where still now as a traditional skills, traditional methodologies of a farming are used for production. Especially in these regions of a northeastern states, as crops are produced for a subsistence, but except them in a western, southern, central, and a northern parts of a country, northwestern parts, parts of a country, agriculture use under the commercialization. Through as a commercialization, mostly as a fertilizers are used for increasing the production, uh, fertility of a land and production. India produces the nitrogenous substances, nitrogenous substances mainly as a urea, phosphate, ammonium phosphate, and complex fertilizers with a combination of a nitrogen, phosphate, potash, which are known as a NPK. Potash is totally imported as we do, do not have the commercial reserves of potash present in our country. India is the third largest producer of a nitrogenous fertilizers. Nitrogenous fertilizers, which are known as a NPK. Phosphate, potash, phosphate, potash, and nitrogen. Nitrogen, potash, and phosphate. Nitrogenous units, the total number of nitrogenous units present in our country are the 57. 57 and total phosphate units are present as the 68 units. There are around the 10 public sector undertakings and one cooperative sector at Hazira in Gujarat. One cooperative sector at Hazira in Gujarat under Fertilizer Corporation of India. Fertilizers Corporation of India. Awareness and a green revolution spread fertilizer industry to Gujarat, Tamil Nadu, Keral, Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, Punjab, which are accounts as a 50% of a total production. 
other states are Andhra Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh, West Bengal, Goa, Delhi, Madhya Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Odisha, Rajasthan and Bihar, Rajasthan and Bihar, Rajasthan and Bihar. Next is the cement industry. Next, middle base industries is the cement industry. Cement industry. This is also categorized under the heavy weight industries, which are required the raw material in a larger in quantities. Raw material larger in quantities for production purposes. Production purposes. Cement industry preferably located in a Himalayan region. Himalayan region. Himalayan region. So cement industry is a, one of the most essential ingredients which has produced some, one of the most important ingredients for a construction purposes for developing as an infrastructure. Cement is required for the construction of roads, houses, factories, airports, dams, bridges, etc. etc. Due to as the widely use of a cement in our country, India's first cemented road, India's first cemented road constructed as a name of, what's the name of it? The first cemented road of India. Roll number 33 minus 10, 23. 23 roll number, raise your hand. 23 roll number. 2 plus 3, 5 roll number. Raise your hand. 23 plus 5, 28. 28 roll number, Kritika. India's first cemented road. Kritika. Yes, sir. Yes. Can you give me an answer? Sir, please repeat the question. India's first cemented road. What's the name of it? Mumbai Pune. Sorry. Yamuna Expressway with interlink in between of Agra and Nizamuddin, Delhi. Agra and Nizamuddin, Yamuna Expressway. So cement is a basic ingredient used for a construction of a roads, infrastructure, factories, houses, airports, dams, educational and a medical institutes, etc. So these developments took place in a these developments took place in a big way after the independence. Cement industry is a heavy industry. It uses the heavy raw material in larger in quantities. Larger in quantities, it uses as a heavy raw material and the products is also the heavier. The raw materials required are the limestone, gypsum, alumina, alumina and silica. Silica. Gypsum, limestone, silica, alumina are used for manufacturing of a cement. Besides the coal and a regular power supply, efficient network of transport is also needed. The raw material is heavy. Cement industry should be located nearer the sources of the raw material. India's first cement industry, first cement industry, it was established at Chennai in 1904. 1904. But the real expansion of a cement industries in a decentralization, in decentralized form, it started after the independence, after the independence in 1989, in 1989, 
in 1989 the control on prices and the distribution and other policy reforms enhanced the quality capacity and production and production technology today there are a 128 large and 332 mini steel cement plants 332 mini cement plants in india we produce a variety of the cement some of the cement plants are strategically located in a gujarat for the exports to the southwest asia east asia africa and south asia also south asia also this much for as the cement industry next are the automobile industries automobile industries automobiles are also considered one of the fastest growing industries of india with increasing the per capita income increasing per capita income and a pocket money pocket allow for a, availing the vehicles for achieving as a luxurious life row and development of a roads the road transport is the most commonly Uh, so most commonly reason responsible for the growth of uh, automobile industries in india various types of uh, vehicles are used for a uh, quick transportation of uh, goods and passengers in uh, different parts of a country trucks buses cars scooters motorcycles three wheelers multi utility vehicles are manufactured in large number at various centers in india the industry this automobile industry is located in and around the delhi gurgaon chennai kolkata mumbai lucknow pune indore hyderabad bangalore and jamshedpur jamshedpur after the opting the liberalized policies liberalization by the country the demand for the vehicles with better design and engine technology increased it led to the healthy growth of passenger cars two and three wheelers and a multi utility vehicles in our country fdi brought in new auto technology and aligned with the global developments fdi foreign direct investments there are the 15 manufacturers of passenger cars and multi utility vehicles nine manufacturers of a commercial vehicles 14 of two and three wheelers three wheelers manufactured by the automobile industries presently with the growth of economy and improvements in a railway industry railways improvements in a railways the locomotives these were these are now as presently also manufactured in india india's first locomotive manufactured engines means engines railway engines these were manufactured at a kanpur kanpur then the second plant it was set up as a visakhapatnam visakhapatnam in that process as a railway coaches set up to manufacture in a different parts of a country bhopal and near to the jalandhar as a kapoorthala rcf rail coach factory of kapoorthala railway coaches rail coach factory of kapoorthala manufacturing as the bogies coaches which are used for a passenger purposes not for the goods for a passenger purposes the coaches are manufactured at the kapoorthala this was as end of automobile industry now as a one industry remaining it industries information technology based industries it industries information technology industries the electronic industry covers a wide range of products like transistors television telephone exchange equipments cellular telecom computers pagers and other equipments required for telecommunication industry Bangalore has emerged as our electronic capital. Electronic capital. Chayam Resort.
छायांक और राहुल रेज यूर हैंड छायांक एंड राहुल सच सॉफ्टवेयर टेक्नोलॉजी पार्क सेट अप इन डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ अ कंट्री जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एस श्रीनगर पंजाब एस मोहाली हिमाचल प्रदेश शिमला उत्तराखंड देहरादून उत्तर प्रदेश नोएडा लखनऊ कानपुर दिल्ली इन राजस्थान एज ए जयपुर इन गुजरात गांधीनगर इन मध्य प्रदेश इंदौर महाराष्ट्र पुणे मुंबई तेलंगाना हैदराबाद इन कर्नाटका बेंगलोर मणिपाल मैसूर इन केरल तिरुवनंतपुरम तमिलनाडु चेन्नई भुवनेश्वर इन उड़ीसा कोलकाता इन वेस्ट बंगाल गुवाहाटी इन असम गुवाहाटी इन असम डेवलप एज द सॉफ्टवेयर टेक्नोलॉजी पार्क ड्यू टू एज ए इन्वेस्टमेंट डन बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया आफ्टरवर्ड्स द नाइनटीन नाइनटीज द लास्ट डेकेट ऑफ अर ट्वेंटी सेंचुरी ट्वेंटी सेंचुरी वेन द टर्चरी सेक्टर इट बिकम्स एज द फास्टेस्ट ग्रोइंग सेक्टर ऑफ अ इंडियन इकोनॉमी दिस इंडस्ट्री दिस इंडस्ट्री आई टी इंडस्ट्री इट हैज द मेजर इम्पैक्ट ऑन एम्प्लॉयमेंट जनरेशन employment generation accommodating around the 1 million and is projected to the absorb the eight times more in the last two decades the cause is responsible for the concentration of a most number of it industries in a southern india in southern india in a parts of a bangalore so reasons are first high literacy rate among these states high literacy rate among these states of a keral tamil nadu karnataka supplied the professional professionally or skilled workforce skilled workforce for it industries second as a moderate weather conditions prevailing in a moderate weather conditions prevailing in a this region of a southern india preferred by the population for the habitation moderate weather conditions third Bangalore is easily accessed towards the eastern coastal plains and the western coastal plains. Ports located at the eastern coastal plains as Vishakhapatnam and Vishakhapatnam and Chennai and Pudu uh, Chennai and Vishakhapatnam easily accessed to as a Bangalore in the western coastal plains, Mumbai, Mumbai, Panji and the Mangalore easily access from the. Bangalore. That's why as a most number of IT industries are concentrated in a this part of a southern India. This part of a southern India. Clear? These are the reasons responsible for the growth of IT industries in India. We are exporting the software and earning valuable foreign exchange by export of a software and a hardware, IT based hardware and a software towards the other countries of the world. continuous growth of a hardware and a software is the reason for the growth of a it industries in southern india clear so any questions any questions so that's why we will continue on tomorrow as the what kind of the land degradations the pollutions are occur due to as excessive industrialization